Hey guys, and welcome back to the next episode of um, 100 Baby Challenge. Pretend to 100 Baby Challenge. We're just popping out babies at this point with no goal in mind. Uh, it's Winterfest again for the family. So I think we'll kind of go along and try and fulfill as much as we can. But as you can see, we've got a lot of angry babies. Well, two angry babies. That's it. Uh, so let's just get right into it. So I had a friend asking me if there would be anyone to take uh, Darian's last name, Darian Hutchinson. And I've been thinking because we have his son here, Rainier. But Rainier has the charm last name because his mother is not married to uh, Darian. So I'm wondering if we could have them be like a little side story. Uh, like I mentioned last time that they, we were going to have a little side story with the, this offshoot of the family. But I'm also wondering if I should have them get married and have another charm baby. But not just like have them since they'll be married. Oh, no, wait, but the Hutchins... Okay. Since I have so many babies, I can't really change the last name. Because I couldn't find a mod that changes it automatically. What you're supposed to do is to go into Create a Sim and change it from there. But because we have so many kids, if we went into Create a Sim, we would probably accidentally delete most of our children. So, uh, for right now, there's not much that we can do. I don't know how old... Yes, yes. I don't know how old his mother is. Um, because when she... She's an elder already. Okay, so she technically cannot have any more children. What we could do maybe in the future is have it be like a hyphenated name. But as of right now, we can't change anything. So we'll just have to leave it as is. Actually, let's see his traits. Why does it have a little feather there? Oh, you know what? I think he is not- wait. Is that a vampire? I don't know. We'll have to watch him as he grows up and we'll have to see. Because that would be really funny if the game kind of decided for us. Instead of him being magically inclined, they gave us the vampire baby instead. So we finally got Darian up to uh, Master Vampire, Grandmaster Vampire. And I was thinking... It would be pretty funny to have him be, like, crying all the time. <laughs> uh, but also not, like, caring about anybody, not really needing anybody. But then if he has to, like, tr like train his son, I guess, then he won't really, you know, care about that. Maybe... I know that he's always hungry all the time, so maybe we should deal with that. So I think it's really interesting that the kids who have learned to potty train get the steel bladder trait. Because it says from the reward store, and I know that I didn't purchase anything for them. None of our sims have the klepto trait, though. Oh, ancient bloodline! Nice. Okay, so it is a magically inclined baby. Perfect. I was a little worried that mixing the charm bloodline with another bloodline would get rid of this, but he's got the ancient bloodline, which is amazing. Maybe we could use him to find immortality. Oh my gosh, they despise each other? What the heck happened? Oh my, daddy's girl? Despised, but yet she's a daddy's girl. Oh man, what about, okay, the other one is also da uh, daddy's girl as well. Wow. It's a little funny that the kids are coming downstairs to warm themselves by the fire <laughs> with their grandma on top and they have no idea they've never met her. Oh, that's so strange. Be like, Mom, what is that tall shiny thing on top of the fireplace? Oh, you know, it's just grandma. Oh, okay. Okay, we've made a secret room over here and let's lock the door for everyone but Darian and keep this computer room safe because Someone keeps stealing all of this stuff, and apparently not even his pictures are safe. It would be really funny if the twist was that it was Darian stealing everything. I don't think that I have evidence of that, though. So, I I don't know. I can't be so quick to blame him for it. Okay, I think we have one day left for the boys. 
But I think what we'll do is we'll age them up early. And as you can see, my characters are not... My Sims are not making... They haven't... I don't even have a Christmas tree out. <laughs> These poor people. Uh, they haven't been making a lot of cakes recently. And uh, it's because I found a fix for the cake. The uncontrollable cake making, I want to call it, because that's exactly what it was. Uh, so I, I'll link that down below. So if you guys are also having problems with your Sims making six million cakes and not stopping, you guys can also um, fix that in your game. I still haven't decided- oh, he's gonna age up anyway, so I guess we can age him. And we can age up uh, Cor Coralia and Dylan. Yeah, and then the next gen- well, the next set of kids need to wait a couple days? Yeah. Alright, and no! No grab serving. Okay, we'll take a look at her in a second. Dylan and Corellia. Why? I. Oh. Okay, so there's Dylan. A little bit. Damn, look at the. His cheek is so sharp. Oh my goodness. It's gotta be the shading, I think. Otherwise, he's got such a sharp cheek. Oh my gosh, Corellia. And then we will age him up as well, so that he, uh, you know, actually celebrates his birthday. Otherwise, they get very sad about that. Oh my gosh, okay, so look. So, Darian has his needs with a vampire bat. And so does Rainier. But Rainier also has ancient bloodline. Oh my gosh, I wonder what that's gonna mean. And here's our baby girl. Oh, so be sad. I... I'm excited to see how these kids are going to grow up. I think we got some really good genetics in all of them. They have that fang, like, sharp angled faces, and then they have, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever the Hutchinson line had to offer. <laughs> Great personality, I guess. <laughs> With the, all, like, when I have huge brood families like this, I like making I uh... A club to get them like you know to do things without me having to worry about them so let's make this homework club homework yeah <laughs> not very creative at all that would be really cool if he turned out to be a vampire look at how he's walking with her <laughs> he's like he's like tiptoeing away I'm stealing this baby and nobody will know is he going with her? Oh, he's gonna give her a bath. It's pretty funny that all of them are like coming into this room to sit and do homework while she's playing. She can't be in the club because we don't have enough room. Uh, okay, good. At least everybody's starting to get their homework finished. She couldn't stand it. She just left. She's like, F that. Oh, there goes Dot. Where are you going, girl? Please don't tell me that you're the one stealing stuff. Oh, don't curse the toilet. Oh! She's such a vengeful spirit. Oh my gosh. Alright, I guess I'll have to buy another computer up here. At least we have one safe one downstairs. Let's just buy the absolute cheapest one. Because it makes no sense if they just keep disappearing. <laughs> Dot is destroying everything! Uh, Dot!
Okay, cool. We have enough points to add one more. Let's see. Scout. Perfect. I think the nice thing about potentially having a vampire toddler is that they, I think they become adults, young adults, and then they stop aging. So if we ever want him to not be a vampire anymore, like if he is a vampire, we don't want him to be a vampire anymore. We can just concoct the potion and change him back. And then because he has ancient bloodline, we could we could very easily make him uh, magically inclined. Because it says ancient bloodline, at least one of the Sims parents had a strong or ancient bloodline trait. His mother had the ancient bloodline trait. Sims with the ancient bloodline trait gain additional talent points at each spellcaster ring to spend towards perks. They also gain spellcaster experience faster and reduce the chance of overloading by 50%. And overloading, from what I remember, is when you use too much magic and you don't, like, dispel the energy buildup and you just explode. <laughs> don't quote me on that, but it's from what I think I remember from, like, the trailer or something. Oh, he's a baby! Is it because we didn't feed him and he reverted? I can't click on him now. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of forgot about him, guys. Do we have any more cow plant seeds? Oh no. Oh, did she fall? Evie Delgado. Oh my gosh. Oh, poor kid. She should get an adult. Oh my goodness. Friendly introduction, invite her inside quick. She's not having a good time. She's a kleptomaniac, we cannot invite her inside. So this is the really nice thing about having clubs because like if you tell them to do their homework, then they all come and like do the homework together. So I think that's so cool. And then that way you can, uh, I mean, grades don't really have anything to do, especially in a playthrough like this, but like, it's really helpful if you want all your Sims to have good grades. You know what I think we need? I think we need a robot to help with this disaster. Can, how do we make robots? I've never made a robot before, guys. An official robotic station. Can we put this here? Let's put it there for right now. Might as well make Darian do it. Uh, Tinker? I did see that he had the option of crafting a servo right there. And since we're terrible people and we cheat a lot, that's what we're gonna do. All right, here it is for time. We are in time for the final countdown. Shishubi! Are you not gonna watch it with them, Darian? I know there are a lot of people here, but you can do it. These are all your family. Wee! Shishubi! No, Shishubi's the countdown, right? Yeah! Oh, that's cute. I love celebrating the holidays with these guys because they make it so festive and I feel like the Sims are a lot more festive in their celebrations than I would ever be in real life. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it here, uh, starting a new year with, you know, the brood and hopefully everything will be fine, everything will look bright uh, for the future. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you want to continue following this crazy playthrough, then go ahead and hit subscribe. 
so that you can get notifications when each new episode comes out. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye!